After Super Saturday turned into a damp squib, the government tried again today to have a straight up and down vote on the Prime Minister's deal. But because he considered it was the same as what happened two days ago, the Speaker said no. My ruling is therefore that the motion will not be debated today as it would be repetitive and disorderly to do so. That did not go down well with many Conservative MPs. Here's one. Can I just alert the, you and the House, Mr Speaker, to the fact that my committee will be holding a hearing on the role of the Speaker. It has to be said somewhat, somewhat in the light of the experience of recent months. Ministers had already decided to hurry to push this deal through, so tonight they're publishing the legislation needed and challenging MPs to vote for it. We're quietly confident that the votes are there in Parliament to support the Prime Minister's deal. But I mean, fundamentally, the choice that we have now is that MPs you know, have an opportunity to respect the result of the referendum, as they say they want to, and leave with this good deal at the end of October. Or, as the Labour Party seems to want to do, torturous amendments on customs unions, second referendums, all of which just seek to delay or cancel and frustrate uh, Brexit. This Labour MP says she will vote for a deal to leave if it includes a customs union with the EU. The question for Boris Johnson is, does he want to get his Brexit deal through or does he not? And if he wants to do it, he was always going to have to compromise. That has been the reality since the referendum revealed the nation to be divided and since the general election revealed varying levels of support for all of the different political parties. He's got to reach out, he's got to compromise and then he would be able to get his Brexit deal through and the country will be able to move on. We should know within days whether Boris Johnson can get his deal through. After all, the UK is supposed to leave in 10.